All right, so we've returned to Tycoon RG, and honestly, man, we have a lot to go over. Update just dropped literally about 20 minutes ago, and the last time that we covered a video on here, I was showing you guys the Broken Air build. That turned into a huge drama fest. People commenting on that video saying it was a terrible idea, and how upset they were that so many people were making a lot of money, yet here we are today, and none of that money even matters, because it is about to be all completely gone. And on top of that, as you can see, I have the Cold Snap build still available here, right now and it is no longer working 100% broken and definitely not a viable option to go ahead and use but that's okay because we're going to go ahead and prestige our tycoon right now and check out to see what relic we get because that is one of the new features that have been added with this update along with that there's also a brand new weather in the game called glitch weather it happens on average about every 12 hours and with that weather comes five brand new glitch machines unfortunately i haven't been able to get any of them but as soon as we get our hands on them i will make a video on it or if we get lucky and it happens during the video then that'll be even better either way let's go ahead and say bye bye to my 93.19 uvg prestige number one is going to cost you 15 de so that's pretty cheap at least in uh the case of my own game because obviously i've made an insane amount of cash once you do that it'll say warning prestige will reset all tycoon upgrades and cash the beautiful thing about this is that you will keep every single one of your machines so this should be fairly easy let's go ahead and hit confirm and now we're going to be given the option to choose between three different cards one of these is going to have a really good passive ability the other ones are going to have pretty terrible ones so uh, let's see i don't know I'm obviously just making assumptions here because I really don't even know what's going on. We're going to choose um, this one on the right. I got a 1 in 10. That is terrible. Another 1 in 10 and a 1 in 7. Do I keep all of them or am I able to just read them? Wait, hold on a second. Pause. Give me one sec. Okay, so fairly simple decision. I think I can only choose one of them. So I'm obviously going to choose Angel of Fire. It kind of works out perfectly because I have really the majority of stuff that I have is all fire. So let's go ahead and place down a Celestial Light. In the middle for the upgrader, we're going to go ahead and place a negative golden extreme heat. And then for the end, we're going to put my Void Shrine, which is not only my best furnace, but also one that gives an extra 1.5 times if on fire. Already we're at 14,000 and I'm actually just noticing now I don't think it's making it far enough we might have to switch our aura here yeah it's not making it far enough all right that's no big deal all we got to do here at the very start is switch over to infernal winds for the time being and now we're going to be earning a good amount of money so 1.6 billion for the first block that went ahead and dropped technically that in itself should go ahead and be enough to upgrade a lot here so for starters I'm going to focus on upgrading our tycoon so there's a level two level three level that's it all right so we're done there let's go ahead and place down some more stuff all right so honestly I don't even know what I got going on here it doesn't even matter because right now we are at uh, 190 QN. We're doing pretty decent so far. Uh, for some reason, my thing is just completely broken over here. Either way, pretty simple. Uh, we kind of have just some random droppers down right now that really give me high multiplier. And then I sort of have a contraption here to be able to extend my highest upgraders because I do have mostly extreme heat. Either way, we're upgrading more. And uh, honestly, we might be able to even go all the way up to max here. Uh, let's see, we can go there. So that's pretty good so far. Right now we are in level six. Let's up our upgraders here. And actually, I've completely forgot. We have to go into this brand new cave over here and even equip the one that we have. I forgot completely. So now we should see an even bigger change up here in the money. Make sure that when you do prestige, you make your way over to this cave, kind of right underneath the assortment drops. You'll find yourself, as soon as you walk into the cave on the left-hand side, an area where you can equip all of your relics. But man, honestly, we're, we're kind of popping off right now. I'm going to make some more adjustments here, and we'll be right back more than likely when I make it to level 10, just because that's going to make the most sense. All right, so fast forward a couple of minutes, and um, we are now officially at level 10 Tycoon again. And I'm going to be honest, man, there's absolutely no type of like creative build going on here. It's just a big mixture of all of my best multipliers. Thankfully, it's working out really well for me. Right now, I'm sitting at 215 TDD, and it looks like we're earning a pretty decent amount, to be honest. Obviously, I don't exactly know how much I'm earning because for some reason, this is broken, but I'll basically give you guys the quick rundown. So right now, up top, I have a mixture between wet droppers, fire droppers, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got going on here. Oh, and also one polished. These guys are being sent over, which keep in mind, I am currently running Golden Gaze. And for my first prestige, I obviously have the Angel of Fire on, which goes ahead and I believe doubles all of the ore values 
if they're fire. I could be completely wrong on exactly what the definition of that is, but I'm sure you guys saw it earlier on in the video. I have a lot going on in my mind right now. Now these get fed into the first extreme heat that I have here, then through a heavenly ruins, which happens to be my highest multiplier. Then they are dropped down. They go through a gates of calamity, which travels through a bloodstruck ritual, cleans them up of the fire so that they don't get completely destroyed within a royal tundra. Then they travel through the metro punk clockwork this is going to go ahead and add fuel to them well the ones that actually do survive through it but it also adds a magnetic vulnerable as well as air if we drop down here there is another bloodstruck ritual with after that a moonlight temple now i'm going to be completely honest at this point nothing makes sense i'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you first floor is completely terrible for starters this bloodstruck ritual is really only giving me a 0.6 times multiplier so it's really not that great the moonlight temple uh it would be half decent if i was getting that extra 1.5 times upgrade multiplier after 12 seconds problem is that by the time that they're reaching down here there's still a spare four seconds so technically i should move this up to the second floor and i'd be making a lot more money but it's working out for right now so i'm gonna let it be as it is next after that we've got ourselves a steam engine this adds fuel which leads it into the next machine which is a negative steampunk overdrive this goes ahead and adds an extra 1.12 times multiplier for each that are fueled hence the steam engine right before after that we've got ourselves a billy's tank uh, mainly because it has a high upgrade and because it adds two times wet i've gone ahead and implemented two of my high multiplier extreme heats which is perfectly fine because obviously the billy's fish tank adds wet times two so it goes ahead and cancels out one wet with the first one another wet with the second one and then it travels over here where it'll go through a acid pool and a gates of calamity for the end so that that way i get the 1.5 x multiplier for both of those at the very end wow that was uh that was a lot okay so that's basically what's going on for my first prestige we are already ready to go ahead and move on to prestige number two i just kind of wanted to show you guys the layout that i got working right now and to be honest i think i'm going to go ahead and use this pretty much for the next couple of prestiges reason for this is because it's working great right now i can probably zoom through maybe the next two or three prestiges no problem whatsoever as long as i get to level 10 and i'm able to fully build out the system that i got here with that being said let's go ahead and prestige again so that that way i can show you guys what my next pool is going to be for my new passive relic all right so i've gone ahead and rejoined we have a general idea now how much my layout that i'm using is making per second so this is a pretty decent one again first floor still super scuffed but honestly the idea behind why i wanted to go ahead and record this video is to sort of show you guys that there is still some really good layouts out there or should i say builds obviously over the next 24 hours or so we're going to probably start seeing the google doc getting updated and some new builds popping up as well as the new metas the update is super super fresh right now so unfortunately there is a lot of bugs within the game and it seems like a lot of players are extremely upset as i am currently talking right now there is a q a going on in the discord server with jandel I joined in there for a little bit. It's it's a bit of a mess. I'm not going to lie. Lots of people talking about completely random stuff and lots of people talking about future updates and nothing related to the issues that we're having right now. But it is what it is, man. Hopefully it gets better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this update. And obviously, if any of you come across any crazy builds, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on Discord. My name is Carbon Meister. I am in the Discord server for this game. So you can probably find me through there. My DMs are open. But let's end off on a high note here. We're going to go ahead and move on to prestige number two let's see if we get lucky and get something actually decent this time come on all right one in three one in 50 let's go and another one in three so this is all acid ores get a 1.5 times multiplier when processed don't think i'm gonna grab that just for the simple fact that i already have the fire one and really majority of the pieces that i have are fire pieces i've held on to them for that specific reason because i knew that cold snap would get patched so let's go ahead and grab what does that even say teach teach i don't even know what that says either way gives an extra 75 percent luck that is amazing it's going to be something good for me to use passively whenever i am spinning afk and i don't really care about money anymore i'm going to go ahead and get back on the grind here i'm going to see you guys in the next video hopefully with a good build or maybe something crazy that we come up across obviously with the amount of bugs that there is in the game right now chances are someone's going to come up with something really crazy i'll keep you guys in the loop on what's going on but for right now hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel that's gonna do it for this one like always i will see you guys in the next video take care